Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this new Motorola G62 smartphone. And guys, this is very similar to the Moto G82. This is also a 5G smartphone and comes with the same chipset that Snapdragon 695. And guys, one thing to note is that this uh, Moto G82 uh, in India is uh, specially built for India because in an international market, the G62 comes with the Snapdragon 480 Plus processor. Whereas here in India, this comes with the Snapdragon 695. 95 5G processor and yes this one also supports uh, 12 bands of 5G and as you can see this one also comes with 120 Hertz uh, refresh uh, rate but the big difference I would say from the G82 is that in the G82 we found an uh, uh, OLED screen whereas here it's an IPS LCD screen uh, and I like that they are still giving a stereo speaker with Dolby Atmos and the triple camera setup it says that 50 megapixel main camera so very similar but big difference I would say is AMOLED screen on the G82 this is having the IPS LCD screen uh, but let's open this up and have a look so here is the phone and guys this uh, comes with the 6.5 inch uh, screen and uh, like most Motorola phones uh, we also have a case so here we have this uh, TPU kind of a case I'll just put that to the side and let's remove this and here uh, we have the device itself and it does not weigh that heavy guys 184 grams has a 5000 milliamp hour battery and the back actually looks like uh, uh, most of the other Motorola phones this typical uh, design that they are continuing I would say so here we have it uh, I'll, uh, let's come back to what else do we get some paperwork I guess and a sim ejector tool is also there let's just take that out and uh, we have the USB cable which is a type A to type C one and here is the power adapter but only 20 watt power adapter this time uh, I if I recall many of the other Motorola phones are giving that 33 watt charger but here we only get a 20 watt charger in the box so, so let's uh, keep that to the side and guys regarding the pricing uh, this will come in two variants six gigabytes of ram and eight gigabytes of ram and this will start at about uh, 17,999 that's 18,000 but uh, you can get 1500 rupees off if you have a hdfc card so works out to be about 16,500 and for that price i fear it's a decent handset but let's look at it uh, so we have a dedicated vent here for the stereo speakers not just the earpiece so i like that so hopefully the stereo speaker should be actually good uh, we do have a secondary noise cancellation microphone here we have the volume rockers and the power button come in uh, the fingerprint scanner over here and bottom again the vent for the speaker again stereo speakers type c port uh, main microphone uh, we do fortunately get a 3.5 mm headphone jack so that's nice and here we have the sim slot let's look at it and guys uh, as i've told you two variants six gigabytes of ram and eight gigabytes of ram storage will be 128 and uh, we also have a rubber gasket uh, this is ip52 rated if i recall so hybrid slot that we are getting on uh, this one uh, back we have the triple camera setup the 50 megapixel is the main camera then we have that 8 megapixel camera that usual ultra wide uh, that we have uh, and uh, with also actually does uh, depth and that obligatory 2 megapixel for macro um, front facing is supposed to be a 16 megapixel so let me do one thing let me actually boot this up and let's have a look at this one uh, this also supposed to come with the motorola's uh, thing shield and also uh, carrier aggregation so let me just quickly just set this up and then we will continue so guys i have set up this device in fact this is the next day so i have used this device a little bit so that i can give you a better overview and uh, let me just first talk about what do I feel about this device. And again, guys, as it's having that 120 hertz refresh rate, again, in UI, it's very, very smooth. And uh, another thing, I, as it's a Motorola phone, very close to stock Android experience that you're getting left. We have the Google Pay and all this thing. And one thing I really liked is that on this smartphone, there was no bloatware or anything. If you recall, in some of the earlier Motorola mid-range phones, they were adding two bloatware like Cred or Daily Hunt or something. But on this one, nothing, as you can see. The only app you could say bloatware is Facebook. Uh, but uh, even samsung uh, bundles that one uh, so as you can see nothing much and uh, another thing that i noted is that this one has fm radio support so if you are that person who wants that fm radio support you have that on this one and again uh, close to stock android experience you're having and also the moto gestures you have that double uh, uh, chop and twist to open the camera and all those things and those actually work as I've told you, in India, we are getting it with the Snapdragon 695, whereas worldwide, this model is with the Snapdragon 480 
plus and uh, guys uh, uh, by default if you go to the settings uh, uh, regarding the android uh, update guys this comes with android 12 out of the box so you don't have to worry about that and i checked with motorola team and they told me that uh, it will get android 13 uh, that is next android version and next three years of android uh, up updates so that's uh, uh, next three years of sorry uh, android security updates so that's regarding that one and uh, again if you go to the display if you go over the again very close to stock android experience that's the thing with motorola phones and if you go to display refresh rate by default will be set to auto but you can force it to 120 hertz uh, initially i used it for a couple of hours at 120 hertz and it was a good experience but i noticed that now uh, from morning i'm just kept it to auto and the auto is also doing a very good job and intelligently it uh, switches so that you get better battery life also in terms of battery life it should be good because this is having the snapdragon 695 soc this is actually made by tsmc this is six nanometer process so pretty power efficient and with that 5000 milliamp hour battery battery life should not be an issue on this phone uh, another thing is that uh, some of you keep asking me this does support carrier aggregation so that is what it is and again very close to stock android experience that you are getting with this phone and regarding display yes i wish it had an amulet screen but again it's a decent quality good quality uh, ips panel that you are getting uh speakers let's look at that one and let me just uh go to copyright free music yes and let's just try to play this and okay let me just skip to further area and let me increase the volume guys so this is the maximum volume, let me zoom in. Oops. So here, as you can see, it comes from here. I would say the volume is, let me just, and it gets decently loud. 60% uh, of the volume will come from this, and the rest comes from this one. But as uh, here we have a vent, uh, it, this gives slightly better audio output. And uh, because of the Dolby, Atmos support that it has, uh, you get a decent experience, I would say. I'm glad that they didn't uh, skimp on stereo speakers on this one. And you're also getting the 3.5 mm headphone jack with this uh, smartphone. And uh, again, uh, the fingerprint scanner is here. And as you can see, if you just tap, it unlocks. And this has been fairly accurate. And let's try it with some other fingerprint. Does it unlock? No, it didn't unlock. And again, you also have the motor display for that so uh, fingerprint scanner worked actually pretty well on this uh, smartphone so typical of what do you say motorola uh, smartphone uh, that you are uh, seeing biggest difference as i've told you from the g82 which is for about 21,500 or so uh, that had an amulet screen this is having an ips lcd screen that's the big difference but again i feel this comes at a better price point as i've told you uh, and uh, again uh, the general operations were fine, I would say, uh, again, uh, but uh, one thing to note is that the Snapdragon 695 SoC does not support 4K video. That is the only thing. And this is the camera app. As I've told you, the main camera is that 50 megapixel. And uh, you have the ultra wide, that's 8 megapixel. Ultra wide, there is a slight color shift again, uh, but yeah, that's what it is. And uh, the front facing camera is the 16 megapixel actually looks nice and the portrait mode is there from here you can adjust the background blur guys so let me actually show you some of the samples that i have taken with this one it was a very overcast and it's been raining for the past two days here in hyderabad so here are some of the samples that i took from my balcony and outdoors as you can see though it was dull lighting it does a decent job these were taken in completely artificial lighting in my office and here it did much better than what i expected but when the lighting falls very low uh yes you have that softness and this is that ultra wide the ultra wide is actually pretty wide again regular shot and this was that ultra wide now moving to the front facing camera the front facing camera is performing decently and these were taken in that portrait bokeh mode with the front facing camera running this quick sample with the front facing camera and uh, i'm just going out as you can see again it's a very cloudy day it's been like this for the last two days so couldn't shoot outdoors a lot uh, but this is a quick sample video recording with the front facing camera and the audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone 
So do let me know what you feel in the video recording with the front facing camera. So guys, this is the Moto G uh, 62 5G smartphone. And yeah, I completely forgot regarding the storage. As I've told you, it's 128 gigabytes of storage. And the storage is UMPC uh, 4 storage. So this should be close to UFS 2.1 speeds or something like that. But anyways, guys, what do you feel about this Moto G 62 5G smartphone? I feel uh, if you have that HDFC card, and as I've told you, you can get it, uh, you get that 1500 discount. So you can effectively get this at around uh, 16,500. And for that price point i feel it's a pretty good handset uh, but what do you guys feel about the same do let me know in the comment section below anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys